Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how I working with Virus TI and Virus HE editor on MacBook Pro M1 Max with the latest operating system. It's uh, Monterey. I will show you my connection between the hardware, how I set Ableton Live for recording audio from the Virus TI and how I doing the resampling inside the Ableton, so I think that will be very interesting. I had lots of private messages and emails about the how to configure that, because maybe the previous video was not so detailed. And lots of questions was about that virus doesn't work for you. For example, you connecting the USB cable and it doesn't work, but the answer is very simple. The virus USB is very sensitive for the cables. You need to have good quality USB cable. For, for half of you that was solution. So the first thing is good USB cable. Second thing is not use USB hub. Uh, you can use, but try USB hub with external power. So that should help also. Third thing is the drivers. Uh, since 3.0 version, uh, Virus HE editor have included MIDI drivers. So there's no need to install the original virus control drivers and software. And actually that will be everything. So I will show you now my connections. Okay, here's my Virus TI2. Dark star. The analog outputs going to my audio card. Today I'm using machine MK3, and like you can see, inputs goes to the line input. Next thing is a MIDI connection goes through the USB port to my Thunderbolt adapter. I have connected everything to my Mac with only one cable and let's start the Abaton Live and start making some nice music with the virus TI of course so let's go all right before we start first we need to put virus in multi mode mode so just push the multi mode button and that's it we are in Abaton Live now so let's remove all the tracks and start the access virus editor this is the latest version of virus he editor released two days ago something like that so grab this update from the website first what we need to do set the virus editor correctly so we just think our TIMK2 virus TI range and for MIDI in and out we setting the virus TI USB plugin. Okay. Just like that. Now it's time to set the MIDI tracks for virus. So we're creating the MIDI track and routing that to this channel here for first, first channel. So MIDI to access virus editor, track in one access virus editor. Okay. Like we can see, we have no audio, but plugin responding. So we just need to create one channel that will be permanently on. So inserting audio track, audio from our input and set monitor in. So you can see now that virus 
plugin works on first channel. MIDI for, for channel 1 goes to virus editor channel 1. And audio from the virus is taken from the external audio card here all the time. Okay. All right. As an example, we will try do some quick track. Doesn't matter what that will be. Maybe something nice. <laughs> so let's go. Let's find some sound. Record that one. 16 node condensation, of course, metronome. And let's record that. Okay, now resample that to audio track. So just creating the new audio track. Setting the external from the machine. It's active. Arm the track. Let's record that. Like we can hear, is the same. Why I'm doing something like that? That I have a new channel of audio here and I'm keeping this channel of audio here. Uh, when we have monitoring on first created audio channel, that's our monitoring and we use only for that one. But if we create new audio channel, record that and monitor is off, we can have perfectly, almost perfectly, uh, recorded audio from virus. That can be useful for any instrument what you record to Ableton. But you have one channel for the monitoring and the second channel without the monitoring for recording. All right, let's create the second channel for virus DI. Insert MIDI track. Routing the channel to access virus editor, second channel, start the editor again. Like we can see, now we are on second channel because it's routed to the second access virus editor channel here. If you will change for third, we will have a third channel. That's just simply. Okay. All right. Let's get some sound for us. Some plug, but actually, it's okay. What I like to do also, 
on our monitoring channel, I'm adding some effects like a replica giving me the giving me the classic delay right some realm reverb cosmic keys I like it. And that's our second channel that we can start recording. just hit the record on my complete control <laughs> and start recording again. Okay, show you again. Sorry. Another take. Okay, like you can see, our virus playing on second channel with effects what I add on the monitor channel and now we won't achieve the same on audio track. So let's set the audio track and we need just resam resample this second channel to our audio track. So, setting the audio, record. But like you can see now, we have only raw audio from virus so just to simply go to this monitor audio channel select these two channels copy and paste to the new recorded audio from second channel simply enough that giving us that we can keep original tracks from virus they need to be of course resampled to the audio but actually that's it you need to produce music what are you waiting for <laughs> let's add now some drums I like to use the VPS Avenger. There's lots of ready drums.
that's not how I do it now. But now it is. That's my setup for PR Suite. For the beginning. Okay, so now we are adding another MIDI track for Virus. MIDI output to access Virus Editor, channel 3. You can see our monitoring channel is all the time turned on. So let's turn off the effects for now. Let's find some another sound for channel 3. Let's add some space on our monitoring channel. Let's add crystallizer that will make some additional sparks, crystals, original crystals. Nice. I want to use also the pumping effect from my Reason. Yeah, from Reason, why not? So I just set the Reason Rack plugin effect. Okay. Pump side chunk gate effect. Now, again, resampling audio track, external in from channel 1 and 2, hit record.
again we can see that we have raw audio so we just need to copy our effect from the monitoring channel to our fresh recorded channel so crystallizer Realm Reason Track, copy and paste that. Okay. The good thing is that I can now set all effect how I want. Just simply. Let's add track 4 from Virus also. Access Virus Editor, MIDI 2 and Channel 4. You can hear that we have our effects what we sent previously. So for now just turn off because probably we will use one of them. Okay. Channel 4. Nice. Give me the reverb, so going to our audio track with monitoring, Realm. Record of that. Let's set the correct values, flat values for the sound. Ooh. Maybe add some another effect. Record that. Another audio track. External MIDI from uh, external from channel one and two. Record.
パグライトルダットダイム。Audio trap, it's raw now. So, again, copy the effects what we have in monitor channel. So it's raw. Control C. Control W. Remove this extractor. Vocal, and we have already track. Okay, like usually, I'm getting from complete control. And let's dive in. Looking for. I'm looking for the vocalized tool. <laughs> So for that vocal to give a little space, cost me please.
Alright guys, like you can see, it's simply, don't complicate that. There is no point to complicate that. Make the channel for virus, TI editor. Set the couple channels for MIDI editor. Resample that. That's it. Ready to go. Okay, so if you like this video, please subscribe and give the thumb button up. Also, like you saw on my channel, there's no only music channel. I put in there also my vlogs. So if you are interested what I'm doing in my free time, or when, where I'm going with my wife, <laughs> what we're doing and how serious people we are. So <laughs> subscribe that channel and enjoy that. By the way, if you will have some questions, give me a shout through the message post under the movie and we will be in touch so stay tuned see ya